Hey friends and family, and all you know is the people on YouTube. You guys, I'm at the gas station right now. Um, ooh, let me cut that down. And I'm getting ready to go pick up my dog's remains. I had him cremated. And uh, the hospital just called to tell me that uh, uh-oh, I didn't close them. Y'all, hold on. I didn't close my gas. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Um, but um, the hospital where I had him I took his remains to be cremated. They outsourced it, but I took it there. He was supposed to be ready Friday. But uh, anyway, he's ready today. So I jumped in my car. And I said, I'm on my way to pick him up. That, that was my baby. Um, basically what happened to my dog, uh, my, get, my back, the gate, the latch on my fence had become broken. And uh, I have some guests living in my home. It's my play brother and his fiance or girlfriend or whatever. I don't know what their title is, but uh, they're not married yet. But anyway, they're staying at my house until their place is ready. And I explained to them, him and her, about my latch on my back gate. You know, I said, it's broken. You have to manually push, pull it together. It, you can't just shut it. Uh, Cause the spring is missing. Anyway, my brother came home and uh, he left my gate open. It was an accident. I get it, but I still suffered the loss. You know, my dog got out, and uh, my fat dog. He was an older dog. He was he was really old, you know, but he was still living, still kicking it. But he got out the gate, and y'all, this happened from start to finish. Everything happens in a matter of four minutes. I do not talk and drive, so whoever this is, I'm gonna have to call him back. I mean, I don't talk on the phone. I know I'm talking to you guys, I'm driving, but that's different, cause y'all not talking back to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so my dog got out and he started like walking across the street. There's a school in my neighborhood across the street from me. And it was around eight o'clock at nighttime. It was dark, you know, whatever. And he was walking across the street, headed towards the school. And this lady came and, and she ran over my baby. She broke his neck and crushed his head. And it happened so fast, just like that. My baby was gone and uh, I'm still dealing with it. I'm doing good just talking about it right now because at first I was very angry. I was pissed off. I was very upset. Uh, some of you people are not animal lovers. Some of you are. But I'm going to let you guys know the special connection between me and my fat dog. After I had my stroke and my brain surgery, my uh, brain surgeon told me that uh, most people that have brain injuries or brain surgeries that uh, the recovery is quicker and uh, greater if you have an emotional support animal. So when I went to the SPCA, I, I didn't see any dogs or cats, you know, nothing. I, I, I'm not a cat lover. I, I like dogs, you know. I didn't see any animal that I liked or that I jailed with. So I went and went to, I left there and I went to the Dallas uh, Animal Shelter. And I looked at all of the dogs you guys, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I looked at every single dog in that shelter, okay? And um, I asked the guy, I said, is there any more other dogs? I said, I just don't like any of these dogs. I don't have a connection with them. And he was like, yeah, but you don't want to see them. We're getting ready to uh, put them in the gas chamber. I said, well, can I just see them? You know, see what you got back there. And so when I walked, he took me to the back and he showed me the little animals, all in these little cubby holes. They were, they were getting ready to go into the gas chamber, you guys. They were getting ready to euthanize these animals. 
and that's when I saw my fat dog and he was like scratching to get out and so I didn't choose him he chose me you know I saved him I saved his life and he saved my life and if you don't get it you just don't get it you know that was my dog and he helped me uh, recover from my stroke he helped me recover from my uh, brain surgery and uh, what's really ironic about the whole thing not only did I save his life he when I was taking him back and forth to the vet the vet told me that he outlived his life when I first got him seven years ago they said he had outlived his his breed by seven years and I had him for seven years so he lived 14 um, human years beyond his breed and he was still alive it's what, what really pisses me off. My dog was still, I mean, he was still kicking it, even though he was an older dog, and that was my baby. So that's the connection that me and my fat dog had, and it's been severed, you know? And it's very painful. That was my baby, is all I can tell you. And yes, I do have two dogs. Matter of fact, Lady, my other dog, I was trying to find her a home or a nice home. I didn't want to just, you know, throw her away to the pound like that. I was trying to find her a nice home. Anyway, she got out of, of the gate this morning. She actually crawled, like, clawed the dirt from under the, the, the gate door, and she squeezed out. You guys, I was on my way to do what I'm doing now. I didn't have time to go look for her. I really did, and I was really unbothered by it. This truck is just going, you're just going to run me over, dude. Somebody got road rage in front of me. So anyway, I wasn't even going to go look for Lady, you know, because I, I needed to come up here and pick up my baby. And so by the time I had gotten dressed and stuff, she crawled back under the hole and she uh, ran in the house and went straight to her cage. So go figure. But uh, I don't know, you guys. And I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I've just been having technical difficulties and uh I just don't have the, the help that I need. So I'm going to have to learn, start learning how to edit videos and how to um, work these cameras and phones and stuff. I, that's something I've always been shy of. I've never been electronically inclined to, to do anything, not even to hook up a VCR. I think, yeah, here we are. Okay, you guys, so I'm at the Animal Hospital of Ovilla. That's in uh, Ovilla, Texas country and I'm here and pick up my baby's remains I think she told me to she told me to call her I don't think I can go in there let me see yeah I can't go in let me call let her know I'm here Hi, Amy. I'm here to pick up my fat dog's remains. I told Rhonda I was on my way. My pet? My pet's name? Fat dog. Fat dog. No, ma'am. I had him cremated. And his remains just came back to your facility. And I need to pick my baby up. I just told Rhonda I was on my way. I'm outside parked in handicap. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. No. Fat dog. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll tell you my baby's name five times. Oh. I'm so sorry. I That's just okay. assumed you were in from grooming. That's okay. Okay. And there's everything for you. Um, they did that nice little paw print for you. Thank in the you. The purple like you like. Okay. 
And we're so sorry. I'm sorry we're too. Sorry. Thank you. This looks very nice. Oh, thanks. Thank and you. I think that has a picture frame in the front. Okay. So it can be displayed. Yeah, so you can display. Okay. okay. Thank you very, You're very welcome, much. Hon, and I'm so sorry. It's my baby. I'm going to check your door. Thank for you. you. ashes you guys so I could put his little picture right here and I got his paw print right here it says fat dog they made it purple for me and some stand I could put it on this is my baby's paw print and A pet compassion care line, grief support. Coupled with the loss of a companion animal that gave me this. And a card I, I can't read this right now. You guys, I don't I don't wanna just totally break down and they gave me this. These brochures, whatever this is. Oh, um, Miss me, but let me go. <sighs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, this is really... You guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just... uh very open and honest with my life you know with my nosy people i love you guys and um i just want you to experience this moment with me picking up my baby i don't know where i'm gonna put you I got that done. Uh, I don't know. You guys, let me take my baby home and sit him on the shelf um, and figure that out. And go on with my day, I guess. <laughs> Life goes on, right? I got to go to Home Depot anyway. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to take my baby to Home Depot with me. You guys, I'm going to let you go. I just wanted you guys to experience this moment with me. And uh, thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. Don't just watch my videos. Please subscribe to my channel, you guys. That'll help me out a lot. Um, and I'm going to hit you with another video. Um, and I promise I'm going to be in better spirits. This was, this was just a finalization that I needed. You know, I needed to get this over with. Oh, and I know some of you probably want to know how much uh, it cost me to have my pet cremated. Um, they go by the pound. And the last time I took him, brought him here, this is where he used to go to uh, to get all his shots and updates and stuff. So they had him on file as when 15 pounds. He actually had lost weight. He weighed 12 pounds. But they charged me for a 15 pound dog because that's what was on his record. So, um, thank you. So, anyway, they charged me uh, $206 to have my baby cremated. $206 for a 15 pound pig. You guys. I'm going to let you go. I got shit to do. I got to go to Home Depot and, and uh, get two toilet seats. Both of my toilet seats came off the hinges at the same time. How, you know, that's just how my life is going. And the rest, I'll tell you guys later. I don't want to hold you up too long. I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Hug each other. Kiss each other. COVID kiss. COVID bump. 
you guys will spread some love in this world. I love you guys and thank you for sharing this moment with me. That means everything to me. I'll holler at y'all later.